another example of how to deal with quadratic inequalities. Notice quadratic inequalities look like quadratic equations, but with an inequality sign instead of an equal sign. And this is kind of a special case, so let's take a look and see what this looks like. Uh, first of all, again, just like with any quadratic inequality, you try to factor what you have, and I think in this case we can write this as the product of two binomials. So we have an x and an x. Since everything is positive, we need two pluses here, and we're looking for two numbers, here and here, that when I multiply, I get a 4, when I add, I get a 4, and it looks like the only two solutions are 2 and 2. So then the next thing we do is we write the equivalent equation, so we replace this with an equal sign, we get x plus 2 times x plus 2 equal to 0, and again, if we then solve this equation, if we multiply two binomials together to get 0, that means either x plus 2 must equal 0 or x plus 2 must equal 0. And of course, it's the same in either case, so when we solve both of these, we get x equals negative 2 or x equals negative 2. There's only one solution to that particular quadratic equation, which means there's only one critical point to delineate the solution of our inequality. Putting that on the number line, here's the number 0, Let's say that's 1, that's 2, negative 1, negative 2. And notice that the only critical point is x equal negative 2. We draw a circle around it, a hollow circle, because there's no equal sign, meaning the number negative 2 is not part of the solution. Because these are both the same, that now means that there's only two regions instead of the normal three regions with a quadratic inequality. So to the left of negative 2 we have region 1, to the right of negative 2 we have region 2, and let me write the number 3 down just as a reference. So now we have to figure out which of the two regions satisfies inequality, and to figure that out you're going to pick a test point in each of the two regions. So for region number 1 we're going to let x equal negative 3 and we're going to plug that into our inequality to see if that makes that a correct statement. All right, so we have x, or not x, but the number negative 3. I need to substitute in for x the number negative 3, so negative 3 squared plus 4 times negative 3 plus 4. Is that less than 0? That's what we're trying to find out. If it is, we found a point in the region that satisfies inequality. So this becomes 9 minus 12 plus 4 less than 0 question mark and notice 9 plus 4 is 13 13 minus 12 is 1 1 less than 0 question mark and the answer is no 1 is not less than 0 which means that region 1 is not part of the solution so now we go ahead and pick a point in the other in the other region region number 2 let's pick the point 0 0 is always an easy point to pick so for region number 2 we let x equal 0, we plug that into the inequality, so we have 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 4, is that less than 0? Question mark, and of course 0 plus 0 is 0, so is 4 less than 0? Question mark, and the answer is no again. That means the region to the right of number negative 2 is not part of the solution. And since the number negative 2 can also not be part of the solution because there's no equal sign, that means there's no solution, no value for x can make this a correct statement. And so therefore there's no solution to the inequality. So empty set, no solution.